Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex, it's hold hump on. day. Let me get, let me get. Appropriate height. There we go. Heighted. From a from a distance, I was like doing the little focus thing with the lens here. Yeah, it looks like a Johnny Walker. It is a Johnny it's Walker. It's a Johnny Walker? From Eric Evanson. Oh, or Evison. Really? Evison? I couldn't read the writing. I don't know, your track record for the... Yeah, I know. Right? Should we check before? I already did. I researched for like 30 minutes and I couldn't figure it out. I'm saying Evison. Evison. I'm saying Evison. Done. Don't make me come back a second time and redo the mispronunciation. It's beyond mispronouncing whiskey. It's Sorry, Eric. Eric Evanson, you magnificent bastard. Yeah. All right. This is cool. This is really, um, really small Johnny Walker here. But this is a rare thing. Select cask. This is a Johnny Walker, which is known for like let's you know let's blend. It's pretty famous, but some people aficionados tend to avoid the low budget things like red and hate on it and stuff. Sure. But this is a combination of interesting things. I really enjoy green. Yeah, this is an age on the bottle age statement. Oh, Johnny Walker. It's a ten. Aged ten years, yeah. and this is a rye cask finish, which means they took their blended whiskey and then they finished it in a rye whiskey barrel. Oh, that is interesting. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. And now the base of this, I'm assuming, like most Johnny Walker on the base lines, is Cardu. Right. So we could get Cardu okay. and see what's added to Cardu with a rye whiskey barrel finish. Oh man, there's this, um, you know what? There's actually a shortbread cookie, almost Irish note on that nose. And there's also, I was gonna say green apple, which yeah. also reminds me of Irish whiskey. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if the fruitiness of rye and right. the, the spice of rye. Right. Kind of m melded Mer together, yeah. turns it into almost an Irish nose. That's interesting. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like the shortbread. Yeah, absolutely. The, the caramel shortbread cookie element. It is very spicy. Way more than a musty malt that I would be used to from anything Johnny Walker. Well, there's, it's a cross between oak, oak spice and rye spice. It, that little kind of upper um, boppy bits. You know what the boppy bits are? Yeah. The boppy bits. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really like that. Okay, now it tastes like Johnny Walker, um, but only at the beginning. Ooh, and then around that, I'm getting like a cream soda vibe. Yeah, like vanilla cream soda. Yeah, and a little bit of spiciness. Yeah, yeah. But it's all wrapped around mm -hmm. that sort of thin malt blend Johnny Walker vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, right? the maltiness so, isn't overwhelming. It's more of like a smooth, creamy mm -hmm. element right through the middle of that. <laughs> it's like really fancy wrapping paper on a budget gift. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what they charged for this, but I love that they age statemented it, and I love that they're exploring new options. You know what though? It it that's cool. It tastes a little younger, mm -hmm. it's ever so slightly younger than a tin. I wouldn't have guessed tin on the age statement there. What did you say the proof was? I did. Oh, well, hold on. It's really tiny. So forty six percent. That's the magic number where you don't have to chill filter. I'm gonna pour Cardu because I'm guessing that's the base of this malt. You think? I remember that being fruitier, and this is more of. Well, creamy, the, no, it is the base, but I'm saying vanilla. I'm interested to see. Right, but uh, oh yeah, you gonna find the similarities? Mm-hmm. Huh. You don't have coronavirus, do you? Yes. Okay. It was a good run. Wow. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> uh, too soon, maybe. Dense apple fruitiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So I'm wondering if this right, the rice spice right just apple. accented the apple. Yeah, beautifully, like. It's so ripe and so fruity, so aromatic that it's almost a perfume presentation of that apple fruity. That's gotta be just a lot of cardio I'm getting betting. Oh, actually, the taste, more subdued, mm -hmm. much more so than the, than the nose. Mm -hmm. The nose is very lively. But the, t the taste on this has more spice to it. I think so, yeah, which was That's surprising. The, the, the nose was getting me kind of ready for a big wave of rich, fruity flavors. And you know the flavors that I expected were there. They're just not a big wave of rich saturated. But Cardu has that classic space side uh, funky malt mm -hmm. note to me, and like I get in Monkey Shoulder, or like I get you know in what? some of the blends of malts. I gotta tell you, but man, this is this is a totally different nose. This is, it is. not it space is. side Scotch nose. I I actually really am enjoying this for me an too. easy sipper. Me too. Yes, it's, it's, it has to be for an easy sipper. It's, it's it's comfortable, the sweet presentation, it's it's nothing, you know, exotic or weird or funky, but it's nicely balanced. It's um uh and again, an easy sipper if I'm not looking to be challenged to go exploring. But 46%, there's enough there for the flavors to be 
uh, very present. And I, again, I think the only thing I would say is it doesn't quite feel like 10 years old, feels ever so slightly younger. Mm -hmm. But um, still, a very nice whiskey. Let's see what happens to water even though it's 46%. But read your comments while you let it sit for a second. Derek Reed. It's a hot summer evening. You walk into a gas station. What do you grab to drink? Excluding alcohol or water, what's the go-to? Cream soda. Really? Yeah. Here you go. If I'm getting a, I know, if I'm getting a desserty drink, yeah. like a treat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm just getting a drink like a normal, I just get iced tea. Yeah. Some kind of iced tea. Uh, I do the big giant turquoise cans of the Arizona tea, ginseng, and honey. Ah, oh, ginseng and honey. Those are sweet though. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I mean, so is cream soda. But I'm gonna go up Yeah, if I'm going for a treat drink, it's actually my treat drinks are Cream soda and root beer. Mm -hmm. And the giant can, right? You said hot summer day. Mm -hmm. Giant can. Big and you'll also come back with, herpes. along with your giant can. Herpes? No. <laughs> herpes. <laughs> yeah, you come back with the stick and Slim Jim. Oh, the Tabasco Slim Jim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you so talking about drink? You said drink. No, I said, but you'll also come back with, oh, with your Tabasco drink. Slim a Tabasco Slim. Yeah, and you have to get the one that's really long so you can just hold it down here. <laughs> While you ride on your scoot, <laughs> just waving, waving around. Slim Jims are the most hipster of all Slim Jims. <laughs> they totally are. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Yeah. God damn it, Devin. <laughs> and then Brad Leclerc. Oh. Oh no, his comment was gold. <laughs> It was gold. Yeah. <laughs> by the time I didn't, by the time I finished reading everybody's justification for why we're like rabid hipsters. Yeah. It's like I think maybe, <laughs> maybe they're right. Because I don't know. It's like I, there's no effort. There's no intention. I, I know. This is. Here's what I think. This like my grant. My father-in-law gave me a hoodie. My wife buys my clothes. I wear things until they literally fall apart. There's <laughs> no effort that goes into being this. Like how can a hipster? Just, I, I think they're both right. It's like, was the Big Lebowski a hipster? Yeah. Right? Yeah, he would be considered it so now. I think they're both right. Here's what happens. We built our, our house in the woods, right. you know, and the spotlight that is hipster, that defines what hipster is, right. eventually passed over our house. It landed on us. And so at the single moment when the spotlight of hipster matched up with the house we've been living in this whole time, right. everyone's like, you're a hipster. <laughs> and give, come back five years, right. we'll still be looking like this. <laughs> and the spotlight of hipster will have moved on. Emil Apostle. Uh, what other spirits do you enjoy aside from whiskey? You guys live in very close proximity to mm -hmm. Mexico. Yes, so do. I reckon tequila is a thing. More so for me. Mezcal. Mezcal is really nice. I'm actually reaching for a gin more often than I am a mezcal. Yeah, I do gins almost entirely with martinis. That's my only gin consumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, my go-to new spirit that I'm sort of exploring as a noob mm -hmm. and trying to learn and just having fun with it but not getting super sure. hardcore is mezcal. Mezcal. So do you know off the top of your head um, tequila laws, mezcal laws, does that stuff have to be made in Mexico? Uh, there's not a lot of rules yet in Mexico. Okay. Part of the problem. Oh. Sort of like, uh, yeah, anyway. So very Not a lot of regulation, not of, a lot of rules. Of transparency and accuracy mm -hmm. and quality of product. And that you sort thing. of have to pick your brands based on knowing that they're doing it right. Right. And then avoid the brands you don't know or who are not being transparent. Yeah, yeah. I had this one bottle that I kept. It was Azul, it's called Azul Tequila. Oh. I think it's called yeah, Azul. Yeah. Super ornate. Like the like blue a, bulbous looking yeah, thing. And yeah, and a cork on that thing that you could murder a ho Yeah, you're gonna have to edit that one out. <laughs> hey Martin. <laughs> we decided well, listen, Daniel, before we move before we move on, we decided something. Okay. We decided something. Yeah. Because Whiskey Vault has a new editor. He's been editing the vault for I don't know, about a week now. Yeah. About a week now. Oh, okay. Editing the vault for about a week now. And his name Daniel. Daniel. Which is confusing. Hold on. Hold on. There's, I'm older than he is. I'm, I had it first. I'm presenting you with options. Okay. We can either go with, because we can't go with Daniel. And a lot of people refer to you as Dan anyway. So Dan's no, they don't. They do. So many people. No. So many people. I hate that. I, I know. It doesn't matter. They still refer you to as, as Dan. Mm. Now, we can either get, refer to him as, uh, you can be Daniel, and he'll be Handsome Daniel. <laughs> can we make it Handsome Dan? Or. Because that's got more flow. Oh, or, or. Uh, we'll call him Big D, and you're Little D. I don't like either of these options. Dude, I think, man. What if we call him DM, like DM me? Because <laughs> his initials are DM. <laughs> so, so for now on, anytime someone says DM me, we just tag Daniel Martin in Facebook. <laughs> I just want somebody to come up to me and say, have you seen Daniel? It's like, do you mean uh, Daniel or Handsome Daniel? <laughs> 
<laughs> or people come into the crowd of barrels like little Dean. They want to. No, no, I don't want little Dean. You don't want little Dean. What do we call him, Pretty Daniel? Let's be honest. You want a little. What do we call him, Pretty Daniel? Pretty Daniel? No. Yeah. What would Not you? handsome. Pretty. <laughs> Have you seen his boots? <laughs> they are. They are elegant. Maybe Fancy Dan. Fancy Dan? Fancy Dan! He's Fancy Dan! Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. He's editing this. He's probably like, son of a bitch. Go. Oh, oh. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Ha ha ha.